Chris Daddy Dave, been a Vader member since 2002. I started playing drums probably uh, like when I was four, five-ish. Um, I was at church and I didn't want to sing in the choir. So I had two options. I could either sing in the choir be it, or play drums. So I chose drums. Even though I didn't even play drums, they put me on percussion, which sucked. So then, I mean, well, I guess it helped me, but then I just started playing drums. Um, Ever since then, and my dad was a huge influence. Even though I've never heard him play, I heard that he plays drums. He tells me this all the time. Won't never play for me. Really weird. And then uh, I guess influences, um, besides like everyone I ever came across, because I kind of like to be a sponge, I guess like a heavy thing for me was Tony Williams, um, Elvin Jones, Max Roach, Jack Dejanet. Like those four were really, I was trying to figure that out all through high school. So that was pretty much the influences. And then after that, you know, came still with the gospel, hip hop, church, everything. It was just, those the influences. <laughs> The current setup, it would be uh, between like five and six snare drums. Um, that's just cause I, I have a fetish for snare drums, really. It's real weird. And then I hate toms. So I hate when I play toms, let me clarify. So I don't like the way I sound on toms or I don't like looking at toms right now. When I play, cause I hear more like statements and stuff with the snare drums and then I guess from the crack cymbals it just came from a lot of my cymbals um, that I came, I came across the stash of like old cymbals that were cracked and I just started playing them and then I for some weird reason I just liked them and then next thing you know I had this whole thing with Sabian where I was just like send me all your crack cymbals and give me one with some rivets and and so that's kind of my, I guess between that and the snare drums, that is like a sound um, that's popular for me now. But there's just one aspect of, not saying I would never play toms again, <laughs> but just the snare drum is like something I really, really love right now. So that's, that's pretty much the fetish for that. So it's not as messed up as it seems. I was playing somewhere and I saw a cat using this these sweet rides actually and I just happened to put the stick in my hand and then I just started playing it and I think like even like the mint condition days or something and it's like I just could not every time I play with those sticks I would be very happy if I didn't have those sticks and I had to play with like anything else I just didn't feel as comfortable on the set at that time. And so that's just kind of how I got into the stick. And then I just love the stick. And then what happened with that is like now, I guess tomorrow, we're going to the Vader factory. So that is going to be like very, very exciting for me. Cause I was like, I've seen, you know, a couple of stick factories, but this is the one I really wanted to see. So I'm just excited about that. Hopefully we can actually get a stick made for me. So we're trying to work that out now. Um, 
but love the company, love the sticks. All right, so this beater right here. When I saw this, I was so happy because all I was doing for like years and years was looking for the old, old beaters back in the day. Where they had the, you know, the, the felt stuff. Because I just don't like the, I'm not the, what is it, the wooden mallet, wooden beater type cap. I, I just was never into that. So once I found these, I was so happy Vader made this. So maybe one day get slightly bigger with this. I can't curse. So this is the ish, and it's really nice, and you definitely gotta try this pedal out. Tour starting next year, it'll be a different different couple of tours actually but one of them is Chris Dave Trio and we just came back from Japan but we're doing like a lot of the festivals next year so you definitely see a lot of these sticks on in Europe you definitely gonna turn those cats on to it um got an album coming out well album DVD type thing venture um was all the musicians I play with basically in the last 10 years just all got together and just made one, just made a project really. And it's just, that's gonna be very interesting. Cause it's all live music, all live uh, singers, some of my favorites, people I've worked with. I won't give it away, but it's really, I really enjoy working with these cats. And I had a ton of fun making the record. Thanks for checking us out. This is Vader. Um, please come back again, virtually or physically.